What's up guys, Lost One Gaming here, and welcome back to Sailing. So, last episode, we realized that we were finally able to produce mead again. The market has been saturated with the uh, production of, not production, with barley. Or it had been until we took all of it, literally all of it. This is the first time in a long time that I've actually seen freaking bread in the market bread and i've never seen barley biscuits in the market never never have i seen barley biscuits in the market i don't even know how they got that because where did that come from seriously because there's no barley down here anymore so i don't know what the what what the bakeries down here are doing in, anymore um is somebody gonna buy this ale house i want to see how long it's gonna stay for sale um is there anything else that's for sale down this way? Of course, every house on the freaking block, pretty much. And, um, not the, not the bakery. The rain, wait, the Rainperts own the mine and the bakery? God, they're rolling in it. That's like probably two of the most profitable businesses in the game. That they have. I wish I had, but I don't have. <laughs> so the butcher. Bill the Butcher, uh, Gangs of New York. I was going to say that the Butcher actually produced the meat, but yeah, they do. I thought, for some reason, I was thinking that the farms produce, like, cows or something, and then the, they send them to the Butcher to be butchered. But I guess the Butcher just randomly produces meat. Which, actually, the Butcher doesn't do anything, because they literally, they don't, they don't exist anymore. I feel like they're one of the places that, um, that... They they have it for sale, and because it's for sale, they actually aren't doing anything with it anymore. Like, some of the other businesses will be for sale, but they will keep working through it, it seems. But I don't know how that one works. Um, I don't even know if the if the Alton Family Ale House is still a thing anymore. But yeah, it is. I mean, they're still here. They haven't left, so maybe it's not. Maybe they're not totally gone yet. I guess they're going to ride it out. To the very end. I can admire that. In a lot of ways. Oh. Let me check my fruit. I forgot I was doing that. Ooh. Seven. Wait. No. Not 17. That's if I bought it from the market. 10 gold as always. Okay. Move that. Yeah, dang it. Move the vegetables. Move them. There. No. No. Move Alinda. Aren't you the thief from earlier? No. God dang it. I'm clicking the wrong things. Oh my god. Alinda, get the frick out. Get, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of my... Okay. Get away from my bush, please. I can't click the bush without clicking her. What the frick is going on? There we go. And okay. Yep. Collect from my back, because that's what you're doing. Good for you. Good job. Don't know how you're doing that. You're a very special woman, seems. You make fruits appear out of thin air. And another autosave. Oh boy. What time is it? I want to see if that what that cart's going to bring down. I've, I follow that cart like a hawk now, because I always have to make sure that freaking cart's doing what it's supposed to do. Because if it doesn't, I'm done for. I don't know how long the save is going to take. Okay, it's done. All right, good. Three vegetables. It's heading into the wee hours of the morning. I don't know necessarily how or what is going on anymore. Oh, they have barley up there. They have barley up at the uh, merchant camp. Might have to take a journey up to the merchant's camp. Yes, indeed. Indeed, I must. Indeed, I may. Flour is pretty, uh, pretty, uh, profitable, at least to purchase. Um, 33 to sell to the market? Hmm. Carcasses are pretty, uh, expensive, too. Alright, let me get all that fruit. All of. Cat? No, leave it. Move that. 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll keep collecting a little while longer. Uh, three minute, th not three minutes, three o'clock. I guess, yeah, three o'clock. 
My house is still here. My house is still standing, even though people robbed me. Don't know why they would rob me. Ugh. Let me see if there's another house for sale. Because literally, it seems like every house down here is for sale. Yeah, this one, this one, this one, my house, the other one, that one, that one, that one, all these houses over here. It's like, seriously, do we ever actually sell houses? Like, all these houses up here are for sale. I don't even understand anymore. Oh, we're actually selling stuff. Thank goodness. Right. It's five. It's five. Let me see if that cart's moving yet. Is it moving? Is it moving? It has not moved. Oh, there it is. It's going. It's going. See what it's going to bring us today. Maybe some oats so I can start producing porridge again. I can only hope. Usually porridge is the one thing that I can still produce, but now it's the one thing that I can't produce anymore. That ale has been sitting there for a while. <laughs> People don't necessarily want to buy ale from the market, do they? Alright, so I might have to keep the ale. The porridge gets bought rather quickly. I think the mead usually sells pretty fast, too. Let's see. What do you bring us, oh great boo, bow, bew, whatever the frick your name was? Horse? What have you bought? What have you bought to the market? Not oats. And no barley. You bought milk. I don't need milk. I don't need it. I don't need it. Don't need it. Hmm. It comes everybody to collect with me around them. Um. Let's see. And I guess I can. I'll collect a little bit longer. Um. Although I do kind of need to go get that stuff in the merchant's camp before somebody else steals it, don't I? Uh, yes, 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 indeed I do. Alright, a little bit longer, a little bit longer, and then I'll send it up to the merchant's camp. Um, you doing? You making any progress? Alright, yep. Let's call it. Let's call it. Send that down to the alehouse. I'm going to have my guy do some more entertaining because I've been supervising recently. I, I did stand outside and entertain for a good while, though. But uh, let's do... Eh, let's entertain out in front of the market again. There's my little this little statue there again. I don't really know what it's of. I'm just going to call it Stonehenge. <laughs> it's just Stonehenge at this point. Uh, let's see. All right. Got my supplies. Put them over there. Right. And then I'm going to send my cart up to the merchant's camp. And take what they have from there. Probably never going to get past freaking 7,000 again. Because I'm always buying supplies to make sure I have enough for everything. <laughs> I'm, like, never going to make it back to 7,000 now. Especially considering all the wages and everything. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Is the, is the, is the farm going to be able to get a second, like, shipment out? Because I swear the mines do it, like, twice a day. Look at all the horses just together over there. Plus 11 from entertainment. Is he petting the... I thought he was petting the dog. He's, he's actually working on the B thing. What's this? Leftovers? Wait. Pause, 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 pause. We don't even have... I, I literally paused the game. We don't have porridge. So how the frick do we now get leftover porridge? And what is going on with the alehouse storage? Please don't tell me that my game is glitched out again. Oh, it indeed it ha- Maybe it's because I'm paused. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot it does that. Where you can't literally click on anything if it's paused. Okay. I don't know where we got this freaking porridge from. But, um... We got some porridge. That's literally... I, like I said, don't know where it came from. It came back from the grave. Somebody brought their porridge back and, like, threw it up or something. That's nasty. Why did I even bring that thought up? That's what seems like freaking happened, because we don't even have any oats to produce any porridge. How, how else would we get porridge? Wait a minute. There's meat in the market. I had to pause for a long time, because I... 
I don't know when the last time I saw meat was. Someone must have bought the butcher. Someone must have, right? Somebody must have bought the butcher place. Look, there's meat up there too. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how great this is. Oh my. The heavens have shined down upon me. I can get everything right now. I can get literally everything. I'm going to take all the barley. I'm take freaking everything. Down to 6,000. Who freaking cares? I got everything. <laughs> I've got everything. I can do whatever I want now. <laughs> um, I might not have enough for all that that I just picked up though. <laughs> so that might not have been a good idea. Because um, in order to produce the soups, I need to uh, also have milk. Which is something that I guess I need to purchase while I'm up there as well. Um, I could produce some, get some milk. They have, I'll take 20 units of your finest milk. Yes, indeed. Uh, there, 20. 5,600. We got 20 meat. We got 18 barley. And I got the vegetables that I need to get rid of. Kids, don't eat your vegetables. Everybody's lying to you when they tell you that they're good for you. They're not. Trust me. They're useless. <laughs> Speaking of vegetables, I don't eat a lot of vegetables. I think like the only thing I really eat is corn. And broccoli. I eat broccoli if there's like cheese on it. Um, occasionally I eat greens, like collard greens and stuff, but mm, eh. Okay. Travel to the ale house. There. That's a huge haul. That was freaking godsend right there. It's like I had a moment where I'm like, okay, what the frick is going on? Now there's freaking meat in the market and everything. It's like, oh great. Everything's working out now. Perfect. I love it heavenly things are happening now. Still don't have any oats to produce any porridge. Is something on fire? I saw like people walking with their freaking buckets in hand. I thought something was oh something did burn. This house right here burned. The Cud family's house it burned and it's also for sale so they really don't like the Cuds. <laughs> They're already trying to sell the house. They can't sell it if it's burned down. Oh whose house is this that burned? The Stafford family house is burned too. Oh my goodness, why are so many houses burning down? What's with all the freaking arson? Can we stop this? Why do we need so much arson? Why do people keep burning things? Do you have nothing better to do with your time than burn people's houses? They're coming for me next. I can feel it. Yeah, they've already run the Altons away. They're going to run me out next. They're going to try, at least. They're not going to succeed, but they're going to try. I will not let them have the satisfaction not this day or any day for that matter where's my cart it's making its way i can't see it through the freaking trees but it's making its way i don't know where it is again somewhere did it get stuck i can't see it okay now it's, it's still moving oh i got scared for a minute i thought it got stuck and i was gonna be like no Dear God, no. There's a vagrant. Oh. Uh, okay. I thought vagrant was uh, like saying that I got robbed or something, but that's not what it said. Let me see if I can... Hmm. Stack that barley there. Stack that barley on top of that barley. And then we're going to put the meat in there. And we're going to put the milk in there. Oh, wait, don't I need vegetables for that soup, too? Ah, oh, crap. I do need vegetables, don't I? For the soup? Oh, yeah, I do need vegetables. Ooh. I might have to figure out something here. Where would I put it? Would it just go automatically to the cart if I produce it? Like, what would happen? I'm trying to think this one through. Maybe I have to stop mead production? Or maybe I'll just hold it there? Until I can actually produce it. I don't know. I don't know what the next possible solution is to this. Let me see what would happen if I put him on soup production. He can't do anything. Okay, yeah. I figured. Yeah, he can't do anything because there's not enough inventory space. Hmm. What can I get rid of? If I get rid of the eel, that doesn't really solve anything. So, I guess I'll have to do this last little bit of, of mead. Or hunt. Yeah, mead. 
and then we can go back to producing soups. This meat's going to be spoiled by that time, but, you know, <laughs> let me let me not do realism for now. <laughs> let me not care about realism. Um, take that porridge, because I have no room for it anyway, um, and offload it. Right. Everything is right with the world again. I've got all the stuff and nowhere to put it. <laughs> all the stuff and nowhere to put it. No more inventory upgrades are available. Everything. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I do have an upgrade left. Oh, perfect. Additional shelving. Great. Didn't know I had that. Great. Did that actually do anything for me? Um, did it? Did it? No, I have to, it just unlocked the ability to do something else. Oh, how rich, right? How rich. Hmm, okay. Well, I'm spending a lot of money in these, in these episodes now because I'm trying to get everything produced and done the way that it needs to be. All right, 14,000, I mean, 1,400, 1,400 gold. We're now at 3,600. I'm never getting to 15,000 now. <laughs> I am never going to get to 15,000 now. Now we got soup production going again. Great. Great. Loving it. I might have to switch... Um, I might have to switch Eldretta from Ale to Mead. Sorry if it sounds like I'm about to puke or something. I'm sorry. <laughs> But um, we won't be able to produce porridge anymore because we don't have enough room unless I do the upgrade. But then even it's still, I don't think we'd have enough room. So, hmm. What's this? God dang it, stop serving my porridge and stuff to vagrants. I'm sorry. No, I, I appreciate that, actually. All things considered. It's worth it. It's worth it. Putting a smile on people's faces is worth it. Worth the 17 gold that I just lost. Um, did they, wait, did you give them my honey? What? Honey, did you give them my honey? Um, cause seriously, that's not cool though. <laughs> that's not cool. I kinda needed that. That stuff is expensive. <laughs> Please don't give them that. Of everything that you could give them, don't give them that. Plus 14 from entertainment. Um. Ew. Okay, we'll, we'll hold it. We'll hold it. And I'm gonna see. I probably could sell it to the, uh, to the Norbury, I mean the least dead market for cheaper. I mean for more. Because they don't have any, uh... Oh, they've got barley up there too. Ugh. I have plenty of barley though now, don't I? I don't really need to, um... I don't really need to do much, do I? In terms of that. Hmm. Checking the merchant camp, merchant's camp again. They've got more barley up there. Oh, just the barley production. Why is there no oats, though? No oats? Nothing? No? Okay. <laughs> okay. That's all I can say at this point. Okay. Alright, let's see. I think... I think I'm going to be impatient again. And I think I'm going to take that whole stack there of ale and uh, take it up to the merchant's camp. Because I'm kind of running low on, I won't say running low, but I could use some, uh, I could use some money right now. <laughs> I have all this stuff that I bought to, pr to pr start producing stuff again, and I don't even barely have enough room for everything anymore. So, oh, I think that's an autosave. Because my game just froze. Welcome to Autosave Central, there it is. Called it, nailed it, got it right. Yes. All right, let's see how long this lasts. Come on. Come on. It's not so difficult. Saving, 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 saving. A lot of savings there. All right. I'm going to have to save after this episode, probably. Um, let's see. I'm going to take the eel, put it on the cart get rid of it so I can clear up that inventory space and also get some funds to kind of tide me over um, travel to the 
merchants can't offload all goods in return home. We're going to see how much I get from that. Because I think the value is going to increase as it goes up there. I'm not sure, though. It says worth uh, 12. So if I get like 300, then I'll know that it sold for 12. But if I get more, I, I'll know that it sold for more. So we'll see. I don't know how far the card is anymore. Um, it's somewhere. It's somewhere. It's up there. It's almost there. Right? Not, well, yeah, almost there. I'd say. Did the price increase? It did. It did. Just as I took it up there, the price increased. Good. Because the merchant's camp doesn't have any, and ne neither does the uh, Leestead market, so the price increased. There we go. We're up to 4,000 again. 4,131. Good. Good, Anakin. Good. All right. Well, that was that. We got so much going on in the ale house now, though. We got every. We can produce pretty much everything at this point. We got barley to produce the the mead, and we've got the meat to produce the soups and everything. So we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty dang good, I must say so myself. I am pleased with the situation that we have now found ourselves in. But I'm gonna end it here, guys, and I will see you in the next one.